next installment from the outdoor office family or uh, for the outdoor office family but hey guys this is larry coming at you we're gonna have some fun today um not really much going on but we are going to make fishing lures this is an old style uh, set of silverware that my wife had and we've got a whole bag of it i won't show you our bait making table right now because it's horrible <laughs> but i won't show you what isaac's doing over here but we are going to make spoons out of a knife a spoon and a fork so i don't want to make a spoon i have a spoon a spoon well, we've just made a spoon but what we're going to do we're going to make some fishing lures. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. And let's see how they turn out. I'm really excited about this one. Y'all hanging in. Okay. Don't want to touch that to your tongue. Yeah. I'll show you the next steps here in just a moment. To save you all the boring parts, I just went out to the belt sander and I just uh, rounded the ends off here, the corners. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to center punch a hole here, center punch a hole here. Obviously, line tie hook. So um, let me get these holes drilled and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, to save you all the boring parts, holes are drilled. Uh, this is a knife uh, that's going to be a spoon. So once this um, front of the bait, back of the bait, um, what do y'all recommend? Treble hook off the back? Single hook off the back? Um, I don't know. But right now, that's, that's about two ounces, I'd say. But uh, we're going to make a prototype here for Uncle Steve to take down and to use in Mexico when he goes tuna fishing. And he said he wanted a spoon, so we're going to do something up pretty crazy for him. Hang in there. All right, we've got the hammered tape, the hammered part taped off on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it up with a clear coat of white on both sides. I've sanded this with 220 to roughen up the edge uh, to hopefully the uh, uh, airbrush paint sticks to it. So let's get to that next. Just a coat of white. I'm thinking about doing a different color right in this area um, as just like a, a fade in or something. Um, obviously this is the back uh, front, but I don't know. I don't know. This is my first one I've ever made like this. So let's just see how it All right. So the white is on both sides. And I'm going to hit it up with blue is done on both sides. I'm not going to really turn it over. But you can see this line right here. I'm going to finish this back end off in red. Just kind of fade it in there as easy as I can. But I'm going to do the same for the opposite side. So let's see where this thing goes. It's looking good right now. Okay, instead of that, it's me. All right, we've got our scales, so just lightly go over it, bud, on both sides. Can you see it? Lightly, there we go. All right, we're gonna flip this thing over. Good. Just good don't know where. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks 
the unveiling of our first knife spoon. <laughs> I can't see with your hand here. You're hiding it from everybody. Yeah, because I don't want you to see it. What, 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 what? Right? Oh, yeah. Wait. Let's see this. To wait. What, what are you doing? Oh, can't share that. Ah, uh -uh, don't peel that off yet. Why? Let me see the scales. Oh, yeah. Now, pull it off. Your big meat hooks. Whoa, look at that. Pretty sweet, right? Okay. A, that looks like a bait fish. What do you think? You think that'll catch tuna for Steve? Cousin Steve? Yeah. No. All right, your big meat hook's in the way again. Oh, can't show that yet. Can't show this yet. Oh, yes, that looks good. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this thing dipped. That don't look half bad, does it? That looks terrible. I'm just terrible? Ah, oh, give me a break, man. I'm just kidding. Let's go. All right, let's get her dipped. Don't look half bad. All right, let's go. Okay, so... Now we're going to dip it. Dip it, 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 dip it. Okay, got to lay it to the side a little bit. Don't drop it, though. Let me see that thing. Dip it one more time. Okay, let me get it up close here. Hold it still, hold it still, hold it still. Look at that. Yeah. All right, one more time. Don't take it off the hook. All right. Let's get your thing under here. and I can't carry it with you, bud. Oh, sneak peek at something in the background there. Getting it hung up. All right. Let's get that thing dried off. There it is. All right. Let's get hooks. All right. We've had a setback on our silverware fishing lures, and I guess I should have looked at this before we even got started, but this was one split ring I tried to put on. That's what a split ring is supposed to look like, but this edge here is way too thick to be able to get the split ring on, so what i got to do Ah, uh, this nice little paint job. I got to redo it. So we're going to grind this off to make it thinner on both the front and the back. So let's get out here and start. All right, we're out here at the sander. So we're going to have to grind this off. Hot, 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 hot. See, we thinned it out here. Let me see if I can get it to focus for you. Uh, yeah, I'm holding it with a towel because the other end is smoking. Dip that in water, cool it off a little bit, and we'll get ready to paint this Mama Jamma again. Just hang in there with us. All right, we had to do some modifications. We had to open up the holes to get the split rings on both ends. We had to retape. We're going to have to re... Um, paint repaint everything and then now that we've got our split rings on uh, this is going to help us out a lot so let's get this thing painted white and get our base coat on and then we'll start all over all right we are done so this is my first attempt at making a silverware lure out of a knife Here's the original knife. The handle was here, so let's turn it this way. So, this would have been the knife handle just like this. So, obviously, cut this off. 
and there's your lure right here now this fading here happened after I dipped it in polyurethane the polyurethane acts with the sharpie and gives it these fading lines it actually looks like the bait is bleeding which is makes it even more cooler more cooler is that proper English a lot cooler how's that but there it is my first silverware knife to a spoon um, the next ones we're going to be doing is a fork and then an actual spoon we're going to be sending all three of these out to cousin Steve uh, he's going tuna fishing here before long we're going to get these made up but there it is I hope y'all enjoy this is Larry Johnson from the outdoor office always remember no matter what the season, we've got you in our sights. <laughs>